Welcome back and congratulations to sticking with the six series video blog on discovering purpose. Today we're going to be talking about the faculties of the mind. You know, we've all learned about our senses. We have uh, the ability to touch, to taste, to see, to hear, and to smell. And we use these senses to guide us into, you know, what we like and what we don't like in life. What feels good and what doesn't feel good. But what we haven't been taught up until now are these faculties of the mind. You know, the mind is a fabulous tool. It's, it's energy in action. It never ever stops. And there are six distinct faculties of the mind that we're going to discuss today. One of them is on perception. It's our ability to perceive. Life. Well, what is perception? You know, perception ultimately is an illusion. Because the things that we see, I don't know, maybe you've heard this before, but we don't see life as it is, but we see life as we are. Well, what does that mean? Psychologists, since the beginning of psychology even being a science, had talked about that all reality is nothing more than just a projection. That as you see something, you project your own meaning. You take a look at this painting behind me. Some of you might think, wow, what a beautiful painting and the structure of it and the colors, where somebody else might look at the colors and think, well, it's kind of depressing. There's really dark blues or purple hues or whatever it is. You see that? So as we perceive, it's really being mindful of how we're using that faculty to perceive. Because the judgments that we make can make all the difference in your world. So we learn to discern, not judge our perceptions. We also have will. What is will? Our human will. Our ability to decide and to make choices. Right? You are willing to move in one direction or not. But you have to understand what you're willing and not willing to do. What works and what isn't working. We also have another faculty of the mind, which is our imagination, which we previously discussed in the last video. Your ability to go within. Look at Walt Disney. That all started with a thought. He imagined this beautiful world where family can come together and friends and people and to live just for a day within this fantasy life. And look at what he created with Disneyland. We have this faculty of reasoning. This is one of the most wonderful faculties too. When we reason, we can logically make sense of our world. We can reason with the results that we've acquired. And we can discern, hey, you know, I achieved this through this, and our reasoning factor, well, you know, I can agree to this or I don't agree with this. I want to make sense of that or I choose not to make sense of that and choose to make sense of it a different way. We also have our memory. Memory is a wonderful thing. Many of you might think that you have a horrible memory. Well, it's my belief that we all have perfect memories. You're just not using it at the level that you could be using your memory. You might not always remember information at a specific time when somebody asks you, hey, you know, what is something times something? And you stop and you pause and might be overwhelmed, right? But it's there, sooner or later you remember it. Hey, what was the actor's name in that movie? And you stop and you go, oh, what was that? Doesn't mean that you have a bad memory. Just in that moment, you couldn't recall it. Soon time goes by and all of a sudden it just comes up like a flash. Oh, that's the actor. Right? So the mem memory is a beautiful thing. And another one is intuition. This is one of the most not so understood but important faculties of the mind is our intuition. Innately, we have these responses of, of uh, it's almost like a fear or faith response. We get intuitive about which directions to go, but what happens is the ego comes in and it says, no, 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 don't go that way. But what if you do that and then this happens? Intuition drives people to do great things in life. You might intuit this beautiful dream and to take action on it, but then the ego comes in and this is where reasoning has its limit limitations too. Where you want to do something, but you look at all the tools again, you go to that physical plane in life as we had talked about in the previous lesson. You look to your physical plane and you don't see the resources there, you don't see how you can logically make sense of it. All right, But that's not what intuition is. Intuition means just, just go. Don't let the ego get in the way. You're going to learn much more of this on November 3rd at Mystic Journey Bookstore from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. It's a super Sunday. So go to howardcramptonjr.com to get more information or visit mysticjourneybookstore.com. You can check their calendar and the events section. 
and click on November 3rd for discovering purpose. I look forward to seeing you there. If you have any questions, send me an email at info at Howard Crampton Jr. or leave a voicemail 661-524-6093 and we'll see you there. Cheers.